favorite track, I mean, you've probably heard this a few times, Bathurst. Yeah, everyone's favorite, fans' choice. Sydney Motorsport Park right now, because I won there, but uh, no, nah, it'll probably be Gold Coast. I think that's an awesome track, just yeah, it balls to the wall there. So um, yeah, so it's just an awesome track. Yeah, it's pretty easy for me. Uh, my favorite track is Queensland Raceway. It's got six corners. Uh, which is great for me because I haven't been very good at counting over six my whole life. So um, it's one that I can seem to find myself getting around lap after lap consistently. Favourite track to race at? Geez, I'm going to be really original here and uh, say Bathurst. Um, Pukekohe, yeah. It's um, just because of the atmosphere. The track itself is is pretty cool but just um yeah we haven't raced there for a couple of years but always the crowd like i remember 2018 i think all five kiwis got in the shootout and i think richie was up first and just the crowd reaction was amazing then it was andre i think fabian myself then scotty and i i think we all went fastest at the point we went out and I just remember the reactions were just nuts. It was one of the one of the coolest racing experiences of my life. And the lights is cool. It's a cool spectacle. Like it feels a bit faster. But I think anything under lights is just a little bit cooler, right? Like nighttime footy game. It's just something different. Uh, it depends where it is. Um, you know, the lights is always great. To get, it draws a big crowd out, and uh, I love having a crowd there. So I think like Gold Coast, when they were looking at uh, racing at night, I think that would have been fantastic. So um, yeah, I think the night's always a, a great thing and something that brings a new aspect to our sport. Under lights, I feel like it really brings out my eyes. Um, because like, let's be honest, sun's not good for you, so make sure you have SPF 50 plus on as well. But you know, I think colors really pop in the night. Definitely under LEDs, so um, yeah, I think I'd go from a solid two, a three out of 10 to a four. Probably talk myself up a little bit, but with the lights, I feel I can, I can grow a little bit. At 39 years of age, um, apparently I'm getting old, so I'm gonna say the daytime. I don't care. Actually, that's a good point, faster pit lane. Safety is an issue, but if faster pit lane would be cool because it opens up a few different strategies. I don't know if a speed, like not flat out, but maybe a little bit quicker. It's a good one, actually. It was like a hundred, that'd be tough. An eye for an eye. Someone gets rid of you, you can get rid of them and, uh, and there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe you could like allow to turn people around in pit lane. That would be cool, you know? Let's be honest, like you're so frustrated following them on the track. Like I understand there's gotta be rules on the track, but pit lane, like now's your time. Like they're at 40K, just sit and duck. Let's just, let's just sort them out, you know? Uh, we need a joker lap somewhere. I'd probably, yeah, probably take the gurneys off the cars, give them less downforce so we can follow and race. Like, yeah, we, Keep trying stuff with tyres when we're avoiding the main problem. I don't know, smarter people than me make those calls, I guess. Probably the guy you're going wire to wire with to the line, like that seems pretty natural for those guys. So yeah, whoever's next to you, you probably have it in because that's how it works. I don't know who would be the first, but I don't really have a problem with anyone to be honest. Like. Uh, you know, it'd just be whoever was the flavour of the month and that race that sort of biffed me up a bit. But uh, generally, the racing's pretty good so far. No, Engel's retired. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. My dream car, already got it. I got a 98 Honda Civic EK. Um, yeah, she's pretty flash. Uh, Ferrari Testarossa. My family's in used car, so I've sort of driven a fair few cars. I don't know what would be my dream car, maybe a Lambo or something like that. No, I reckon classic, like you know, late 60s Mustang or something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like a really nice one, like clean.
I think it was actually at Bathurst when our doors went like 100 grams under. Um, I thought it was funny. I had to do the drive parade after that. I see a Ford fan just stand on the hill giving me the finger and going, you can cheat. <laughs> and, I, and I've looked up there at Jack Perkins. I thought, that's pretty funny. Like, you know what? I actually rate that. So um, I had a good laugh about it. Me and Jack had a joke, but uh, that was pretty funny. First, you've got to have fans, so that's a little bit tricky. And the, like, the bad ones are just like in one ear, out the other. I haven't caught many of them, so I'm, I haven't rubbed too many people up the wrong way yet. Oh, how long's a sheet of paper? I'm, I've copped it hard over the years. Um, probably my first race with Ford Performance Racing after leaving the Holden Racing Team. A guy came up to me on the grid and said, do you remember me from Homebush last year? And how could you? And he just pulled his shirt off and just had a massive signature of mine with the HRT logo, freshly inked on his back. So, yeah, that was kind of awkward. <laughs> I've heard of a few that do probably just piss themselves, but um, not me. I, I, I don't have a pro problem with that. Once I'm in the car, I'm focused. I couldn't even think about that. So I don't know how, um, how someone relaxes enough to actually do that. And uh, yeah, do you shake after? What do you do? Like, <laughs> it's a bit of a hard one, isn't it? Uh, I can't imagine doing it in my seat. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say I'm a clean freak, but uh, I definitely wouldn't enjoy it if my co-driver or someone did that. So um, yeah, it's not something I'd do. Um, I think some, yeah, there's obviously reports that it's happened before. Probably the mechanics are the best people to tell you about it because obviously they're first on the scene afterwards, so that's a bit of a drama for them. I've been safe. I think the closest for me was probably uh, 2019 Gold Coast. Safety car, red flag, and then it, it was raining. Obviously, when you go slow, it's raining, then obviously um, the feeling starts coming from there. But other than that, I've been pretty good. Um, you tactically plan your, your water intake before the race, but it will happen one day. Um, yeah, in the suit, dribbles down into the seat, clean it up, but there's been a few contraptions I think made in in the time, so we're, I, think I don't have one and I haven't seen one, but I've heard. Well, touch some wood. I haven't released myself in a car yet, but I am pushing 30. So you got to know that when you get a little bit older, these things aren't as controllable. So wait, that day will probably be the day I hang up the helmet, because I'll be like, well, that's a little embarrassing. Um, so whatever other drivers out there have, you guys should have definitely stopped racing then and there, because that's just disgusting. I've done it once, and I went off the road, and I wouldn't do it again. I mean, they're all pests, right? Like, generally, <laughs> generally everyone's a pest, especially when you're trying to trying to race because everyone's racing hard for every position. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anyone in particular, just all of them. Oh, probably for me last year was Chaz. I'm, I'm good mates with him, but oh, we just got locked horns a few times and uh, it sort of ran into each other and we'd have a joke after. And uh, yeah, so it was, it was all good fun and that, but uh, yeah, definitely makes it hard. Probably the safety car. Like, let's be honest. When you're winning, the last thing you want to see is a safety car. They are just such a pest from time to time. It would have been like 10 or something, I reckon. Maybe, maybe earlier. I don't know, like farm car. Um, even earlier, maybe even dad let me drive a tractor or something. I don't know, actually. But it was, yeah, young because. Growing up on a farm, we had a few few vehicles that we could drive. Oh well, I was. I think we we owned about five acres where we were, so I had a little uh, Ford Escort Mark II, and I was probably about eight years old, something like that. Nah, just um, when I got my learners. Yeah, nice. I don't know, four or five years of age, I'd say, sitting on my dad's knee um, at the family farm, up and down the big dirt driveway every day. Uh, every time we were there, yep, used to love it. Yes, I have lost some demerit points. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, definitely. Um, not proud of it, but it's part of the, uh, it's part of life. Uh, yes, I have. 
Uh, a few different things, yeah. <laughs> Not very. Yeah, I can parallel park really well. I, I, like, I guess working at a car yard. I mean, it's getting easier and easier every year with the car upgrades, uh, with reversing cameras and stuff. I nailed the best of it parallel park yesterday, though. Unreal. It was like just one shot, you know, a couple mil from the gutter, didn't touch. Best ever. It was good though, wasn't it? Yeah. Just like, boom. I parked a supercar once the wrong way in pit lane. Does that count as a parallel park? Excellent. But uh, gone are the days of, you know, looking over the shoulder. It's just, just use the lines and the reverse camera. Where would we be without that? It's a bit of a worry. I don't know about L's actually, I definitely passed my P's first time. I, I think I passed both of them first time, I'm not sure, but I definitely passed my P's first time. I did, yeah. Yes, absolutely. I, I don't think he rated the heel and toe on the downshift, getting my P's, but he, he let it slide. I did, yeah. I think it'd be fun on the roof, but Depends on the hard tyre or the soft tyre. The soft tyre rips up a fair bit, and I've copped some big pieces of rubber like hit the roof before. I wouldn't want to be on there when that happens. Like we're talking, you know, a solid piece of rubber probably hurt you. And then like if you're in from the roof, you're like you're strapped down, so that's not very fun. You can't like hold on. I got boot. Why not? Tied to the roof would be pretty cool if you didn't fall off. At least you'd get a bit of wind in your face. It'd be a bit hot in the uh, in the boot. I'll tie to the roof. That'd be really good. I oh, just like having my wind in my hair and, you know, dodging mosquitoes with my teeth and eyes. It'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, tied to the roof. That, that, that would, at least you got some air. The roof. Yeah. Why is that? You can see what's coming. <laughs> yeah.